Hi, this is Terry Van Oy, and thanks for watching this video. This is Math Class with Terry V. Please give me a call if you're considering uh, some live sessions to be one of my students. Um, these videos, of course, you can pause and rewind and practice on your own. Uh, I go over things after I present for you to try them. Um, but, um, you know, it's a poor substitute for an actual live math session, which I do with my um, students. So I work with families from all over, and if you want more information, uh, give me a call. Give me some contact information. Call that toll-free number or go to my website, fill out an interest form. And let's get to today's lesson. All right, this is all about angle of elevation. Okay, this particular video is a challenge question, and it has actually come from a viewer of my other videos. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be related to a couple of different videos, actually about three that I've made previously about the angle of elevation or the angle of depression. Okay, These are all about right triangles and using some trig functions to find some missing parts. And it usually has to do with how tall something is that you're looking at. All right, here is the question. Two observers are standing 65 meters apart looking up at the spire of a nearby building. One of them measures the angle of elevation to the top of the spire as 30 to 31 degrees. The other person measures their angle of elevation as 35 degrees. What is the height of the spire? Okay, now I should note that these two people are standing on opposite sides of the spire. So they're 65 meters apart, and this spire of the building, which is a tower, is in the middle, in between. All right, here's an example of what it would look like. And this is definitely a good strategy when you're doing these kinds of problems. Draw a picture, and it does happen to show you how this is a right triangle problem. So let's fill in some information here. We got two people that are 65 meters apart, and the spire of the building, like a tower, is an unknown there. We're going to call that H. Okay, We're going to solve for H here in a, in a short bit. But the angle of elevation, which is this angle here, from this person looking up to the top, is 31 degrees and the other person's angle of elevation is 35 degrees all right now believe it or not that's all we need to figure out how tall the spire is now what's interesting is we actually have to figure out something else first and that is what's the actual distance this person here is from the spire and what's the distance this person here is from the spire we need to know these two parts of those two right triangles. We know the total is 65, but we don't know who has how much distance to the spire. So we're going to use a little trick here, which is that we're actually going to just temporarily name this x, and we're going to name this 65 minus x. Okay? That's the only way we can kind of get this thing going. All right? And somehow we're going to be able to figure out what h is. All right, now let's take the information from this triangle and use a trig function. Now, this uh, is my reference angle, 31 degrees, and this h here is going to be the opposite leg, and the x here is the adjacent leg. Opposite and adjacent. That's a tangent function. Tangent of 31 degrees equals opposite h over adjacent x. All right, now we want to solve for h for now, so what we're going to do is multiply both sides by x, and we're going to get x tangent 31 h. All right, you're going to grab your calculator and find out the tangent of 31, which is about 0 0.6009. We'll just keep it to four decimal places. All right, let's look at this other triangle. We also know how to solve for h. And again, that's going to be the tangent function, this time of 35 degrees. And that equals, from this reference angle, we go across to h 
is the opposite leg and 65 minus x is the adjacent leg. All right, now it looks kind of messy for now, but we'll be able to figure this out. All right, again, opposite over adjacent. That's the tangent function. Just like we did over on the left, we're going to multiply both sides by this denominator, or you can think of it as cross multiplying. 65 minus x times tangent 35. And on my calculator, the tangent of 35 degrees is about 0 0.7002. Again, it's pretty standard practice to go to four digits when you're doing trig function values. All right, now, now notice that we have an expression on the left uh, for h, the height of the spire, and we have a different expression of the height of the spire. So we're going to set those two expressions equal to each other. Okay, now I'm going to kind of simplify it as I go. So on the left, let's write it as this, 0.6009 x equals this part right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and multiply using the distributive property. All right, so that decimal value times 65, that decimal value times the x, and put a subtraction in between. 65 times 0 0.702 is a 45.513. We'll round it to uh, three places there. Minus 0.702x. Okay, now we're solving for x. And obviously we want to get the x's all on one side. I'm going to go ahead and add this number to each side. Which gives me 1.301x equals 45.513. Last step is to divide by that coefficient of the x right there. And so 45, that 45 number divided by 1.3 is about 34.98. Okay? Now, see if you can figure out why I'm going to say the answer really is 35 meters. Okay? Think about that. 34.98 is pretty darn close to 35, isn't it? So why would I be a little bit off? Well, notice how in these calculations I'm rounding from, say, you know, many digits to, to four digits here for these decimal numbers. This number right here is a little bit rounded. So with all of this rounding, I'm going to be a little bit off. Okay, the true answer is really 35 meters. Now, it kind of depends on your teacher and your textbook. Maybe 34.98 is more accurate, but for simplicity's sake, Let's say that this then is 35 meters, okay? We needed to know that. And then of course the whole total is 65, so that means this part must be 30, all right? So one person is standing 35 meters away from the spire, and the other person is standing 30 meters from the spire. All right, well, we're not done. We gotta figure out what H is. All right, our final set of calculations is to figure out the height of the spire, which is h. Now I'm going to do it two different ways. You can only you only have to choose one, but notice how we're just down to a simple trig function equation. All right, again the angle of elevation here for this person is 31. We now know that they're 35 meters away, and we're trying to solve for h. Okay, again that's the tangent function. So tangent of that angle, 31 is equal to the opposite leg, h, over, now we know it's 35 for the adjacent leg, okay? Multiply both sides, so h actually is going to be, you remember from our previous um, calculation, the tangent of 31 is 0 0.6009 rounded, and we're multiplying that by 35. So we do our calculations and we get that h is about 21.0315, okay? That means that the spire is about 21 meters tall. All right, let's make a little approximate equals here, 21 meters. All right, now just to check ourselves, and obviously you don't have to do this, but it'd be nice to see if we're in the right place here. Tangent of 35 degrees is equal to opposite h over 
the distance there, 30. Multiply both of those. H then would be the tangent of 35, which from our previous calculation was 0 0.7002 times 30. And it turns out with that calculation, it's 21.006. Okay, again, approximately equal to 21 meters. All right, so we had two choices there to figure out the final part of solving for H. So again, here's the problem, and it turns out it's 21 meters tall. All right, using a tangent function in this case. So here's the key, draw yourself a picture, right triangles. All right, again, thank you for watching this video. This comes from a question from a viewer, and it's a challenge question. It involves some of the concepts from some previous videos. So go ahead and do a search on my channel for uh, angle of elevation or angle of depression, and you'll see some related videos. All right, thanks for watching.